Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We're going to be discussing Divi scrolling effects features today in this Divi Basics video. If I scroll down here you're going to see some buttons appear from the right hand side of the screen. They're going to grow as they come across slightly and then they're going to stick in the middle right there. When I roll up past 60% of the screen they're going to disappear off to the left. There they go. And if you're scrolling up or down a site, that's going to get your attention pretty quickly. Really easy to do, so let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we want to work. I think I'll get rid of this row that I've got here. A little green tab or a row. And we'll start from scratch so it's not so distracting. I'm going to add a new row. Inside this row, I'm just going to put a single column. And I'm going to copy this little button we had at the top. So I'm going to close that down. I'm going to copy our little button right here. I'm going to drag it down into our row. Left click and drag. Release to drop it where you want it. Okay, so we've got a row here with a little button. So let's have a bit of fun with it. I'm going to go into the row. And this will work just as well on a section. Blue tab for a section. And it'll also work on an individual module too. So let's go into the, our row here. If we go all the way over to the advanced, you're going to find scroll effects down the bottom. Then we've got several tabs here. Vertical motion, you can make it move up and down. And remember, as it's a scroll effect, these are affected when you scroll up and down the page. You've got horizontal motion, left and right. Fading in and out, obviously. Fading in and out. Scaling, which means growing, bigger or smaller. Rotating. And blurring. So let's have a bit of fun with this button and let's use a bit of horizontal motion. We'll have it come in from the right. Minor kind of extreme variations on this. Obviously, you probably want to be a bit more subtle on your site, but of course, that's up to you. So select the one that you want. Switch it to on. You can see a little line here. And left represents the bottom of your viewport, whatever viewport you're looking at, whether it's a mobile or tablet. And the right is the top of the viewport. And you can give it a starting and a finishing offset. So to start with, I want it pretty much off the page. So let's put a fairly high number in there. Let's try 50. Now if I roll down the page, it should disappear off to the... There we go, right there. If I was to put 30 or something like that, it wouldn't go as far. So if you want to be more subtle, you could put smaller numbers in there. As you can see, it's come back with 20. But I really want it way out of the way. So let's do it 50. Then it's going to roll up. When it gets to the middle right here, it's going to have no offset at all at 50%. See the 50%, which is 50% up the screen here, halfway up the screen. Then I want it to zoom off to the left-hand side. So let's put an equally large negative number at the viewport top. So let's say negative 50. Now when I roll up, it's going to disappear off the screen completely. OK, well, as it's a call to action button, it might be a nice idea if it would stop somewhere so people could actually click on it. So this is where this mid offset comes in. If we look at the little circle there with the 50%, it's got two little arrows either side. So we can decide perhaps 40%. We don't want it to be offset and drag this one up 60%. So anywhere between 40% and 60% there, it's going to stay where it is. So if I rock that up and down a little bit now, it's pretty motionless between those two, which is great. Like I say, mine are kind of extreme versions here. So once you've got one and you like what you're doing, you can add another one. Let's do perhaps scaling up and down. Let's make it bigger when it gets to about between 40 and 60%. So starting scale, let's start it off quite small. Let's start it off maybe 30%, which is 30% of its original size. So if I roll down now, you can see it's shrinking down there. And let's end up with 30% as well. I'm just putting in the 30. It's putting in the percentage for me there. And then between, let's say, the same 40 and 60, let's make it, say, 
almost a third bigger. As you can see, that's made that grow. So now, if I roll down, it's going to come in from the side. It's going to start growing as it gets up there. Where it stays, it's going to be almost 30% bigger. Then it's going to disappear off and shrink as it's doing it. Okay, well, let's just add one more for a bit of fun. Let's rotate it perhaps when we're coming up. So again, put the little trigger to on. Scroll down, see what it was. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's got a 90%. You could make 180, make it really dramatic. Like I say, I'm being excessive here to demonstrate. So it's starting off crazy. Then when it gets to the middle, 50%, it's going normal. Let's give it negative 180 on the exit. And again, I'm just putting in negative 180. It's put in the degrees for me. So it should twist back out when it goes that way. But again, in that 40 to 60 range or whatever range you want to select, we want it to be absolutely normal. So there's the 40. Let's drag this one up to 60. There we go. So if we go down again, it's going to twist in. It's going to stay there. 40 to 60 percent. It's going to go off to the left and twist out again. I mean, you can go absolutely nuts. Let's put it 360 so it's a full circle. Now when I roll down, see it's twisting off the side of the screen there. And like I say, this is going to get people's attention pretty quickly if that happens. And of course, we can click on it in our nice little area there. Like I say, this will work equally as well with a module. So let's just let's go into one of these blurbs here. We'll go over to the advanced. We'll go down to our scroll effects. And let's just add a little twist to that particular one when it comes in. Enable rotation at the bottom. Again, let's give it silly amount 360. And at the top, we'll say negative 360. see it twisting around as we go up and down there and again we'll define a, a bit in the middle well let's put it right at the top say from 60 to 90 perhaps that it's normal there we go so if I roll down the page it's twisting its way in when it gets to 60% up it should stay there and as we roll up the page right as we get to the end it'll twist out again and there we go and again, that's a crazy example just to demonstrate it can work perfectly on a module as well. And if you're subtle with this and do a few different things, you can get some great effects going. So there you go, guys. That's how to use the scroll effects. Let's save this, make sure everything's going to work correctly on the front end. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. If I roll on down, there's our crazy button zooming in. If I roll on down some more, there's our crazy little blurb module doing its thing. And it's staying there, and it'll zip out just as we get to the end there. So there you go, guys. There's a fantastic scroll effects of the Divi theme. And like I said before, that'll work just as well on mobile and tablet as it does on desktop. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.